Here we have two lines written in vector form and we want to find the point of intersection. So essentially what we're trying to do is we have one of, the, one of these describes some line, another one describes some other line, and we want to find that point where they intersect. Now remember from a previous video that we can't assume that the t values for the point of inter intersection are the same. So to keep us from making that mistake, what we want to do is to replace the t value or the t in one of these with an a, or just really with any other variable besides t, I'm going to use a. So I'm going to replace, in this one, I'm going to replace t, the t's with the letter a. All right, so first I'll just write this, this first one with the t, like it, this first one here. Uh, we have 3, 3 plus t, 3, 2. And the second one, I'll write with an A. So you'll... And for the purposes of this problem, it's best to rewrite or to rewrite these as one vector. So the x component is going to be 3 plus 3t. The y component, 3 plus 2t. And the second one, we have negative 5 minus 5a and negative 6 minus 4a. All right, now think about what happens when they cross, right? When these two lines cross, that means that they're at the point of intersection, right? If they cross at some point, that means that their x coordinates are the same when they cross and their y coordinates are the same. So using these forms here, right, what do we know? At the point of intersection, it must be, so I'll write that at point of intersect, their x coordinates are the same and their y coordinates are the same. So that means that 3 plus 3t, three, 3 plus 2t must be equal to negative 5 minus 5a, negative 6 minus 4a. And that's the real, con the real uh, conceptual piece of this problem. At the point of intersection, um, these vector lines, these vectors must be pointing to the same point. And so that means they have the same components. All right, so two vectors in component form are equal when each of the components are equal. So that means that we know that this and this are equal, and that this and this are equal. So that means that we know that 3 plus 3t is equal to negative 5 minus 5a, 
and 3 plus 2t is equal to negative 6 minus 4a. All right. And now notice that we have two equations and two unknowns. So we have a system of equations. So I'm going to use elimination to solve this. You could use substitution, but I'll use elimination. So to set up for elimination, I'm going to move all the, the things with a's and t's on one side, all the numbers on the other. So plus 5a plus 5a. Um, that gives me 5a plus 3t plus 3 equals negative 5. Subtracting 3, I get 5a plus 3t equals negative 8. Over here, let's see, I'll add 4a to both sides. Let's see, that'll give me 4a plus 2t plus 3 equals negative 6 minus 3 minus 3. 4a plus 2t equals negative 9. So let's see, 5a plus 3t equals negative 8. And negative 4a plus 2t equals negative 9. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both equations, or I'm going to what I'm going to try to do is get, remember, I'm, it really doesn't matter which one you do it, but I'm going to eliminate the T. You could try and eliminate the A. It doesn't matter either way. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the top equation, both sides, by 2. And the bottom equation by negative 3. Both sides. This gives me... 10a plus 6t equals negative 16. And 12a minus 6t equals 27. Now adding these equations, you can see the 6t's drop out, and we get... 22a equals 11. Dividing both sides by 22, we see that a equals 1 half. Right, 11 over 22, that's 1 half. So let's just write that up here. We got a equals, we found a equals a half. Now we grab one of our original equations that we found that we had, um, which was let's see. I'm going to grab um, negative four a plus two t equals negative nine because uh, a equals one half will make a whole number there. So you got negative four times a half plus 2t equals negative 9. Because then 2 times, we got negative 2 plus 2t 
equals negative 9, add 2, add 2, Two t is negative seven, so that tells us that t equals negative seven over two. So now we want to find the point of intersection. So the answer is not one half negative seven halves. That's not the answer. The reason why is because we're trying to find a point x, y, right? This is the point. This is a point of the form a, t. So this is a point in the a, t plane. We don't want a point in the a, t plane. We want a point in the x, y plane. Right, so the point of, and remember that these are times. These are the times or the, the, the A value or the T value that when you plug them in, right, then you get the answer. You get the point of intersection. Remember, this is the one that we replaced with A. So you can get the answer in two different ways. And that's why I solve for both variables, just to, as a check. So when I take this first equation and I plug in r of negative 7 halves, I get negative 15 over 2, negative 4. And when I take this other equation here with the a in it, we replace the t with an a, and I get, and I plug in one half, I get the same thing. And so the point of intersection. is that point right there. Remember, we think of these things as pointing to that point. 